Hi, it's Belinda from St Arnold Library, part of Northern Grampians Libraries again this morning to bring you a story time. I hope you've enjoyed the ones we've been doing online. I've really enjoyed the feedback and it's been great to interact with you all again after all of this lockdown. So you, today we'll start with the hello song. Hi, hello and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello and how are you? How are you today? I hope you're all feeling well and happy and energised for the day. It's a beautiful sunny day outside today when I'm recording. I hope it is the day we get to listen to it. Uh, that I was going, we've got a story about dinosaurs today. So I was going to try and find my dinosaur song in here. Always takes me a little while to find. Oh, there it is. Dinosaur, dinosaur. So this is a little bit like Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, turn around. But this time we pretend to be a big dinosaur. Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Can you turn around? Dinosaur, dinosaur, stomp the ground. Stomp, 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 stomp. Dinosaur, dinosaur, show your claws. Arr, can you do dinosaur claws? Dinosaur, dinosaur, snap your jaws. Put your hands together and do a snap like we do for crocodiles. Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Dinosaur, dinosaur, sit back down. So do you want to do that again now you've had a practice with all the actions? Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Dinosaur, dinosaur, stomp the ground. Dinosaur, dinosaur, show your claws. Dinosaur, dinosaur, snap your jaws. Snap, snap, snap. Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Dinosaur, dinosaur, sit back down. So good job. Do you want to do teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around while you're at it? Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoe. Teddy bear, teddy bear, that will do. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, wink one eye. That's oh, a bit tricky, what that one. Teddy bear, teddy bear, slap your knees. Teddy bear, teddy bear, sit down please. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your nose. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, shut the door. Slam. Teddy bear, teddy bear, count to four. One, two, three, four. Good job. What good little teddy bears you all are. So, let's find another song to sing. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to sing a different song that we haven't sung for a while. This is one we've always really, really liked. Do you remember the grand old Duke of York? Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Did you do all that? Do you want to do it again? Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Good work. You're all great at that. Do you remember the actions to Incy Wincy Spider? Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Now, incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Did you have your spout and you climbed your spider up there or did you try the tricky way between your two hands where you make incy wincy spider climb? Now, there was one more I wanted to sing today that I've been missing. Oh, more than one actually, but I only have time for one more song. So, I've been missing five little speckled frogs, but I'll save it for next time. Can you do this one? Heads and shoulders, knees and toes. Do you remember? So you have to stand up. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes. We all clap hands together. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, mouth and nose, mouth and nose. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. We all clap hands together. 
Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes, heads and shoulders, knees and toes. We all clap hands together. Now we usually try to do this faster and faster and faster. So I might do one faster one for you this week. Are you ready? Have you got your fast legs on? Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes, heads and shoulders, knees and toes. We all clap hands together. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, mouth and nose, mouth and nose. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. We all clap hands together. Good work. You're all so good at that. So it's another story time. I've got a beautiful story today. Oh, five cheeky monkeys. We might have to sing that next time. So unfortunately that's the end for story time please stay online for the book there's a craft pack to pick up at either stall or St Arnold library we're more than happy to put books aside for you and put them out for contactless pickup just give us a call let us know a time that suits you and we can have that ready for you i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll leave you with the goodbye song goodbye goodbye we'll see you soon see you soon see you soon goodbye goodbye we'll see you soon on another day Today's book is called Pink by Margaret Wilde and Judith Russell. Can you see anything camouflaged in the background? Do you think you might know what this book is about? I can see one, two, three dinosaurs. Did you see them? Oh, I got a lot of forest, lots of cycads. Pink. By Margaret Wilde and Judith Russell. Millions of years ago, a great storm washed away all the eggs in a nest, except for one. And when it hatched, she's pink, said Mum. <gasps> she's beautiful, said Dad. She's very pink. Can you see her down there? Very cute. You're so pretty and sweet, everyone said. Pink loved being pink. But Pink got older. There was a big problem. Her favorite game was hide and seek. And while the other dinosaurs could not be seen easily seen, they always found Pink right away. Oh, look, there's one. There's another one. Come here, there's another one. She's really easy to see, isn't she? See you. Can you see her? But, oh, did you notice there's another dinosaur in there? Got you. Here she is. Did you see this one? Found you. Can you see the other dinosaur in that picture? I hate being pink, Pink told her mum, who was sitting on a new clutch of eggs. I wish I was brown or green or blue like everyone else. She looks so sad. It's hard to be different, said mum, but no one's as pretty and sweet as you. I don't want to be pretty and sweet. I want to be brave and smart and I want to be good at hide and seek. Perhaps try being brave and smart about this, mum said. Try being happy with who you are. One afternoon, the game was especially wild and boisterous. The little dinosaurs dashed through the trees, running further and further from home. Pink followed after them because it was better than being on her own. When everyone was too tired to play anymore, they stopped and looked around. Where are we? They cried. Where's home? It was beginning to rain. In a few hours, it would be dark. Rest in that cave over there, Pink said. I'm going to climb the hill and help us find some help. All by yourself? Her friends asked. No, said Pink. Aren't you afraid? No, said Pink, though she was a bit. Pink started scrambling up the hill. She slipped and picked herself up. 
At last she reached the top, but all she could see were trees and trees and trees. Oh, said Pink. Then she smiled. Although she couldn't see home, someone would certainly see her. Two pterodactyls circled overhead. Pink shouted and waved. Hello, hello. She knew they'd tell her parents where she was. Finally, it felt good to be Pink. She's quite easy to see in amongst all the green, isn't she? Just before the sun set, the little dinosaurs' mums and dads arrived, full of hugs and joyful tears. You were brave and smart, said Pink's dad. I'm proud of you. Pink turned even pinker with pleasure. Where's mum, she asked. With the eggs, dad said, they're about to hatch. If we hurry, we'll be there just in time. In the light of the moon, the eggs hatched. They're pink, said Pink. <laughs> Look at them all. Aren't they cute? When the baby dinosaurs were old enough to run and play, they joined in the games of hide and seek. Makes it a bit fairer when there's quite a few of them that are pink. Can you see the dinosaurs in the background? Can you spot anyone? I can see one, two, three. I'm not going to tell you where they are this time. Can you find them? And pink, finally, was not always the first to be found. How many little pink dinosaurs can you see in there? There's one. There's a tail of someone else. A little head up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's an eight one there. How many other dinosaurs can you see in the picture? Which pink one did you find first? <laughs> Such a cute little book. I hope you enjoyed it. So that was Margaret Wilde and Judith Russell wrote Pink. It's available at the library to borrow. Just give us a call anytime and I'm happy to help you out. I hope you have a wonderful day.